Hey guys, how's it going? Here we are back with another video. And here we are with the Kramer Striker 100 ST that we talked about recently. Um, you might notice the pickup is different. I uh, went ahead and put a dual sound by DiMaggio in the guitar. It's uh, this one right here. So what this is is a super distortion that has four wire instead of two. Um, and I ran it to this. So you've got series, parallel. It's almost complete, but we need to do something about this tremolo. So this is the Floyd Rose 2. Now, there were two models of this tremolo. One of them um, looks like any Floyd Rose that you've ever seen. It's got the saddle blocks and the fine tuners and all that stuff. But this model of the Floyd Rose 2 has string through design. You can see there that instead of the screws that you would use to clamp the strings into the blocks, you actually string the, the strings through, and then they come out of that hole right there, and then they come over. And they go down the neck, and they lock. Um, I was going to keep it as it was. You know, I wasn't really sure if it was going to be worth uh, doing any upgrades or anything to the system, because... We talked about the Floyd Rose special and how awful it was. Um, and so I imagine that this had to be better than that. And while it is better, it still doesn't stay in tune very well. And that's just a, a problem with the design. As you depress the bar, it obviously, the strings slacken, right? Well, when the strings slacken, they're going to move where they can move. If they can't move at the nut because it's locked, they're going to slightly, ever so slightly, slip out right there. And then when you return it back to pitch, it's going to pull the strings tight again. And uh, what I'm finding is that when it pulls those strings tight again, it doesn't, it isn't able to return exactly to the point that it was at before you activated or used the tremolo arm. So it's causing all kinds of tuning stability issues. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, we're actually going to, we're not going to replace the whole thing. I actually like this base plate and stuff, you know. Um, now, a real Floyd Rose or a Goto 1996T would definitely be a very good option here. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to replace the saddles. So I've got these saddles, screws here, and screws here, I should say. These are stainless steel, stainless steel saddles, stainless steel blocks, stainless steel intonation and clamping screws, uh, tuning, fine-tuning screws, and also the little saddle screws in the bottom that go down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these saddles on this uh, Floyd Rose 2 with these new saddles from Cache. And uh, we're going to see if that effectively gives us a uh, better built and, and better functioning Floyd Rose. So I suppose the first thing that we should do is take one of these strings off, and uh, probably this low E string, and uh, see if we can get that saddle replaced first and go from there. I got this string off, uh, and basically the only thing holding this in is going to be this screw right here. So I got my little Allen key here. I'm just going to loosen this until the saddle comes free. Let's see if that's enough. There it is. Slide it back. Pull it out. You can get a closer look at that saddle. And you got to give them credit for attempting a design like this. It just doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so that's out. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab one of these saddles and we're going to stick it right here. If we compare these to each other, you can see here that the one on the right, which is the stainless steel one, is a little bit higher than the one on the left, ever so slightly. Um, it's made incredibly well. And look at that. Japan 8.8. .8. One thing that I do want to note is that the package that it comes in, these are not in order in here. You have to look at the bottom to put these on in the right order. So 8.8 .8 is the shortest, so those are going to go here and here. And then 9.3 goes here and here, and then 9.8 .8 goes here and here. So just be advised if you're going to do this yourself that these do not come in order. Don't just install them the order they are in the package because it may not be correct. You're going to have weird string heights if you do it that way. Um, oh, I already kind of got started here, but here's the old saddle screw. And then there's the new one right there. And then to install this, 
you just take the saddle and uh, you just slide it on like this. And then you take your screw and you just kind of thread it through like this. There you go. Once it's relatively where you want it, you're gonna take your Allen, and you don't have to do it in the exact order I just did it, but, and then you would tighten this down until it doesn't move anymore. There we go. So that's in there. Rinse and repeat for the others. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get this out because I wanna replace it with these. This also came in the kit. They're a lot heavier, more robust, they're longer. I think they give more tuning. See, that can go down pretty far. But uh, these are like flanged on the end or something so they don't come out. So I'm going to get those out if I can. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave them. Uh, so let's go ahead now, and uh, if we can get that done, I'll be back telling you that. If we can't get that done, we're going to go ahead and string this bottom string. And just make sure everything's working before we continue with the other five. Well, I got it done. I'm not sure if I recommend that you do it this way, but what I did was I took some needle nose pliers and I got this, I took this towel and I covered right like this. And then I took the pliers and I grabbed it and just turned it as hard as I could and uh, was able to get it out. So you can see the part of the metal that it was fighting against there at the bottom. Now, if you have like a super vintage, super expensive, super rare Floyd Rose, don't do what I did because you run the risk of stripping out the threads. But as it is, uh, after using that method, as you can see, my new screw fits in there just about perfectly. It's easy to turn. It does meet enough resistance that it is definitely threaded. And as you can see, it goes pretty much all the way down. It gives you almost double the amount of fine tuning that you would with the original one if you look here look how much extra space you get to, t to fine tune so i like that actually that looks really good so yeah all that this is all the pieces that come in the kit there's your saddle mounting screw i guess i'd call it here's your uh, saddle block screw here's your saddle their saddle block is also stainless steel by the way and your fine tuning adjustment so we're gonna go ahead now and uh, we're gonna get the low E string installed in the guitar. Just make sure everything's working good before we move on and do the same steps five more times. All right, so I got it all strung up. I got all the uh, screws and saddles and everything in. There's a close up of it. Boy, does it match the aesthetic super well. I mean, this is that Floyd Rose II base plate it has a really good tremolo arm, and the base plate's actually really thick. I mean, this is a hell of a lot better than the special. You can actually buy a Floyd Rose II pre-owned for almost nothing nowadays. If you bought that and these saddles, you would have a hell of a tremolo system. Um, I really like this. So I got it all strung up and ready to go and tuned up. Um, why don't we play a few things here and just see if uh, it stays in tune? So... So this is uh, just on like a super dirty setting, uh, 6505 setting. All right. Um. So we gave it a, a good uh, good whacking with the trim. Let's see if it's still in tune.
So the B string was slightly out, but the rest of it's perfect. Um, holy cow, guys. I imagined that the stainless steel blocks and saddles and all that stuff was going to make a difference, but I didn't think it was going to be this much of a difference. I mean, this feels like an ultra premium Floyd Rose system now. I feel like I can do anything and it's going to stay in tune. <laughs> Again, let's see if it's still in tune. So that time the E was slightly off, but guys, this is it, man. This is the answer right here. Buy this. You got to do it. These stainless steel deals are the real deal. Absolutely amazing. Um, it made what was considered one of the worst Floyd Rose systems of all time into something that plays as well as any other Floyd that I've ever played. I own some vintage Floyds that are on other guitars. This plays as well and held tune as well as those do. The aesthetic matches really well. I think this would also look really good on a black bass plate. And uh, I'm just really excited that my Kramer Striker 100 ST is now complete. Um, and I love the way that that sounds too. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I will put links in the description for the parts that we used in this video. Uh, if you purchase from those links, it'll help the channel a whole lot. Thank you very much again for watching. I appreciate all of you. See you next time and keep on rocking.